Hello, hey guys. Pat. Welcome to our <laughs> channel, BNB, and this is Avi. My name is Rishan. And this is our new podcast. It's called uh, The Real Nonsense. And uh, we're just uh, two, two friends from different countries. I'm from Dubai. Rushan lives in Slovakia, Bratislava. And we're just trying to connect over a video call and uh, chat random things ranging from movies, social, sports, current affairs, anything which is going on. And, uh, and that's it. This is like a... This is like a podcast where we share our views and it is more of a talk show, talk. And yeah, I hope you guys uh, like this concept. Yeah, so this is our first episode. Uh, let's see how it goes. Uh, we just uh, went on with it. There's no pre-planning. We just talked about it two hours ago and here we are. So um, uh, please don't be too harsh on us if you guys are commenting. And uh, uh, yeah, I guess uh, here it starts. So before the corona, I mean, if you if you look at Hollywood right now, when you are in the month of uh, entering the month of May and your highest grossing film is still four hundred million dollars, you know something is wrong because when your highest grossing film of the year is Bad Boys, you know the Bad Boys Part Three. I mean, you know something is wrong. Yeah. And I mean, I have. I mean, obviously, you know, like uh, James Bond was supposed to arrive, which has been postponed and. I think there there have been a lot of films which have been postponed, obviously, because of uh, this nonsense. I think recently, Vin Diesel dropped his movie called Bloodshot. And I hear it is pathetic. So it has been rejected on OTT platforms as well. Yes. So, I mean, this is a good time and bad time. I mean, theatrical revenues will reduce. I think even in Bollywood, I think you... I remember when Karan Johar dropped uh, Drive on Netflix. I mean, Sushant Singh Rajput's Trash. And I think they can't do it any lo- anymore. I mean, dropping trash on Netflix should stop, will stop because people are consuming a lot. That is my takeaway. And I do think after all this is over, also theatrical revenues, I mean, movie going uh, business, movie experience in a theater will drastically reduce because I don't want to go to a theater till probably next March. I mean, what do you think? Well, I, I think that um, that is no, I, I don't see it in the near future, that part happening. And as you said, you know, Netflix, um, what it does is it does a good job of uh, uh, collecting all this trash and polishing it and then putting it out there. So <laughs> at least, you know, yeah, uh, I people, uh, I mean, everything is said They have their own, I, I like the way they market their videos on Instagram, the short clips and trailers. And um, I think OTT platforms is the future now. People will uh, vouch for it more, will produce and invest money for it. And Avi Prata is gone. Okay, he's back. Uh, yeah, I think I, even personally, I think there is one more reason which I believe uh, this coronavirus, which gets to the movies is uh, the ability to, you know, because there are movies which, you don't want to finish in one go. I mean, certainly there have been a lot of movies in the last one year in Bollywood itself, which I thought were not so great. I mean, now, right now, I mean, I, I am pretty much free to choose what I want to watch. And uh, I think the other day, last week, um, TVF had dropped a television series called Panchayat. I mean, guys like Jitendra Kumar are now, I mean, getting their dues after doing a lot of uh, TVF sketches. And, you know, when when you see a panchayat on TVF and when you see a street dancer 3D besides it, I mean, I'm sure I, I, you're going to... This is, this is the best time for anyone to drop yeah. some series out there when everyone is sitting at home. Panchayat, I, I saw panchayat. I, I, I really am happy to see such shows coming up. And, um, and it's, it's pretty fresh. I mean, I, I personally thought, I mean, this guy, 
I mean, he's no less than any any other uh, guy in Bollywood. I mean, I don't want to see Arjun Kapoor. Uh, certainly not. I don't want to see Varun Dhawan. I mean, uh, I don't I don't see them doing such roles as well. I mean, yeah. uh, probably not they happening. are not. Not happening. I don't want to talk about that capability, but um, uh, in this is a talk show. This is our talk show, so we can obviously give out our views. <laughs> Do you think? I mean, this is a time when actually Netflix will. Say, I mean, we know how Netflix and Amazon are performing. I mean, there are other OTT platforms like Hulu and Stars Play. Do you think like uh, in the near future, Netflix is also going to become choosy? I mean, so far, they didn't have choices. Like they produced, I mean, I've seen some awful films. And uh, do you think now even Netflix will, it will be difficult to pitch movies on Netflix as well? Because now obviously theater going public is not there much. Well, uh, in terms of choosy, I think Netflix does have a filter. Um, uh, I mean, it's, uh, although it's producing a lot in, in various different countries, so, um, and it's also buying a lot of uh, produced and released movies in, in, in terms of India yeah, and yeah. Terms of regional uh, movies. So it's, it's also investing in those. So I guess for now, they, they do want to fill their bag with a lot of stuff, you know, <laughs> To put in because also it's it's I it's also affecting the new uh, you know shoots going on ongoing uh, schedules and uh, production is I guess uh, hurt everywhere so they they cannot really shoot so they have to uh, I guess uh, show the material they have already right they have to get ready with the shows and the films yeah so uh, people are consuming a lot of Netflix what do you think people are watching in India right now. What, what are um, the in India, that come I think, when it comes um, to Netflix? I mean, the, the problem again with India, there is so much competition now. See, I mean, for me, I just have Netflix and Amazon Prime, but in India, you have a you have a Z5, you have a even Balaji has its own alt Balaji, so you get some. Uh, I mean, it's full of trash, Balaji. like Balaji ultimate Bakchodi, you know, that's something. Uh, you know, there is, I mean, there is a show called, uh, I don't know, the other day I was watching in a reaction channel. It's like a soft porn or something, like um, some trash when they are producing. You have TVF's app, of course, which is very, very affordable. I mean, if you can afford Balaji, I think you TVF uh, was and is again trying to be the Netflix of India. I think it, they had a good start. I think but, yes. uh, you know, yeah. What do you feel about the whole uh, conspiracy and propaganda or, I don't know, Bill Gates, uh, the thing going about uh, vaccinating, uh, you know, 700 million people with microchip? Uh, um, that is some that? shit. I mean, yeah. that is some, uh, I don't know. I mean, this is something which the news has been going around for last, uh, I think, two, three days. I mean, even I heard it. But I mean, imagine, imagine like you have... Uh, you're vaccinated <laughs> with microchip and like you're walking outside or going to movies or and, and like they're gonna scan you and uh, and they probably might know that okay this guy likes to watch such movies and then they have their own your your kind of bio or something I mean I mean imagine, like how um, where is this going it's not gonna be it's not gonna be lovely to feel a chip in your body I mean certainly it's not gonna be that lovely and I don't want Bill Gates to know that I love porn or I love something else I mean I'm not gonna tell I mean certainly if you are sitting next to a girl I don't want to know I don't want him to know what my intentions are I mean you know you know what I want to say so I mean, this is a great idea, but uh, it, it it sounds good for the movies. But I mean, in real life, for 700 million people, I think it's a long shot. And uh, I mean, if I say without joking, I mean, it is uh, just pretty expensive. I mean, uh, I don't know where they'll place it on the butt or the on the hands. I don't know, but I mean, uh, it's gonna be painful, and uh, I don't think. Anybody will, uh, I don't think, I mean, certainly I wouldn't. I mean, I don't agree. I mean, why do? Why does he have to know? I mean, this is something, again, the corporates are coming up with. I mean, there are new ideas how to fuck with people. And um, I mean, we, we are anyways fucked in this uh, nonsense, lockdown nonsense. I mean, um, 
<laughs> even if even if there is, I mean, we, we do have our phones with us, so you know, um, it's not like. And the, Apple knows the, everything. I mean, oh, Apple knows yeah. everything. Facebook knows everything. Now yeah. there is new function on Facebook. They could yeah. actually know what you're doing offline. So yes, actually, so I, I got a phone and I was now. checking it, and uh, it says that you know because I don't really believe the WhatsApp University uh, at all, <laughs> <laughs> but. I, I, I apparently I it's one of giving the, a uh, lot of knowledge. Yeah, so someone sent it in this group, and I was like, interesting. And I went to my Facebook, I checked the settings, and off Facebook data. So uh, Facebook is actually tracking you guys um, yes. going to different. Uh, I guess it's it started since fourteenth of February. A uh, Facebook uh, gets its. Uh, gets all these data from the websites apparently and they send it to facebook so if you go to your facebook app right now and open <laughs> settings and yes, uh, look for off facebook time facebook actually knows every app and every yes. other uh, service that you're using and i mean that's freaking scary <laughs> i mean i saw this post uh, the other day one of my friends had put it up on facebook and I just uh, read point by point and I tried to do it. And I mean, I mean, there is some shit. I mean, obviously they know there is a function which allows them to see what we are doing offline. And, um, and now Facebook has bought Geo as well. Apparently 10%. There's, a, there's been a 10%. Uh, so, um, I mean, they're invading India. Invading India means invading, I mean, uh, quite a bigger percentage of the world population. So. I mean, yeah, Facebook has its hands on. I mean, WhatsApp and then now Geo. So Instagram, of course. Instagram, Instagram. yes. I mean, Instagram. So, I mean, um, I, I don't didn't know, know like about privacy. I didn't know about the Geo thing, though. I'll, I'll read about it. Yes, yes. I mean, they took about 9.9 percentage of uh, shares. That's, I mean, for Geo, it's huge. And um, yeah. Mark Zuckerberg, because I, I personally think that Facebook had not lost its way because people, I mean, nowadays are doing a lot of Instagram chats. I mean, everything can happen over an Instagram uh, message page now. And Facebook is just, I mean, you put your profile pics and cover pics, people like it. I mean, more than that, I don't find it useful anyway now because the, the love for Facebook 10 years back, I don't think, I mean, even you would agree. It's not the same anymore. I mean, I, I guess nowadays, the uh, apart, of course, uh, uh, I guess everyone has different views on it. Facebook is um, uh, not the same, but still, uh, it, it's a lot of uh, a lot of people are using it for businesses and. Um, yeah, true. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess the, they're they're trying to have their own uh, video streaming, you know, market share and it, it's yes. Going I mean, there, they so. have, but I I. I somehow see that I mean because Facebook now every function will have to pay for something so I mean that way uh, they have made a lot of revenue but I would still want to see because the procedure in Facebook has I mean because they have eased out everything now it looks very clumsy I mean, we just changed it I just logged into Facebook web today uh, and they have a new design now and they you know they give you an option to try it I okay. went there and you, you get like dark Facebook mode like dark mode and um, it, it, it's it's pretty much like an expanded version of your app on the phone. More, more like a more like a Corona depression mode. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and how do you feel and about um, uh, India trying to block the investments uh, from China? I, uh, well, I, I personally thought, I mean, uh, there are a few things which I mean, uh, not many. I mean, I uh, personally don't agree with everything what Donald Trump says, but uh, off late the statements he has made, I personally think um, they make a lot of sense. And when Donald Trump says the virus has originated from China, Wuhan, I actually agree with him because uh, we don't know any other place where it could have been originated. So that and uh, China has been hiding things. So obviously, um, I mean, uh, right now, there are so many companies in China, people actually, I mean, the companies which are getting bankrupt, China already had put their hands on. I heard that they already had taken over some Italian companies, yes. HDFC Bank of India, China yes. National Bank, 
took some ten percent. Yeah. So I read it. I mean, you don't want everything to go to China. I mean, uh, and China has not supported India anyway. I mean, to be honest and very fair, China has always supported Pakistan. I mean, no, uh, no offense and no, you know, judging. Hate I'm, I'm, I'm spreading, but obviously China in the international level has not supported India. They have always gone with Pakistan. So as just a nation and uh, for just uh, the economics of our nation, why should we allow China? I mean, that is our, I mean, yeah, I mean, 100%. I mean, uh, why China? I mean, it's not like we have blocked the FDI for China. It's for anybody. But yes, I mean, personally, I'm happy to not give it to China. <laughs> At the end of this coronavirus, you don't want everything to go to China. I mean, um, they already own a lot of things. I mean, in India, Flipkart has been backed by, I think, I think not Flipkart. I don't know. One of those e-commerce giants has been backed by Jack Ma. And uh, you already have... I think Snapdeal, I guess. Snapdeal. So, I mean, Chinese intervention is there anyways. And this is also a time because the world does not favor China anymore. It is time. India gets its due because everybody has Indian labor everywhere. So it's time. I mean, other other countries come and put up their uh, factories in India, which has not happened ever, which I think now is the time. Probably if at all there was a time for India that people were begging for, like when will our time come? Probably this is the time when actually people will come and invest in India because it is more favorable. And I think it was a good move by the government because certainly, I mean, you don't want at the end of the day when you open your eyes and everything got to China. I mean, I don't want it. Recently, I also read about Germany sending uh, about 133 billion <laughs> billion euros invoice to China for all the coronavirus for, for basically coronavirus so <laughs> i mean I, I see World War III, i see or many such bills coming it? probably i see many such bills coming now because i mean come on germany is uh, again german uh, there are a lot of german uh, entities which have been set up in china and not just german i mean i think every company in the world has an entity set up in china facebook has office in china your apple has their uh, units in china so I think they all will eventually have to, I mean, put up the cost somewhere. And if you have to blame somebody, at the end of the food chain, it is uh, China. I mean, uh, as President Trump said, it's a Chinese virus. It's a Wuhan virus. It originated from China. As long as it is proved otherwise, China was responsible. And they probably knew it from Jan or December. They were quiet about I think, it. I think about 70 to 80 percent of the people in the world feel the same exact same thing. So this is right now what I'm reacting and what I'm saying is based on what I've been hearing for last one month. Probably my reactions and my mentality will change maybe after two, three months or it might not. But this is what I'm hearing and this is all the news or rumors, whatever you call it. I mean, yeah, I mean... I don't think much encouragement of any sort should be given to China. Guys who are watching us, um, so this is uh, an intentional English-only content. We, we, I mean, I, I so want to go Desi right now, and I don't even know how this is going to end up and how the next episode is going to be like, and we don't even know what our viewership will be and how, you know, what kind of audience we are targeting because. We, we just want to, you know, spend some good Sunday talking and uh, creating something for everyone. And let's see. And probably depending on the audience, I think uh, if, I mean, depending on the audience, we might change our language. I mean, if it is more of the Indian audience who are liking it, probably we'll go Hindi more. And uh, that will, I mean, we'll have to see, I mean, if we find success at all. So, yes, I think this is a good good start. I don't know how much of this will be edited and how much will be trimmed. And uh, I guess uh, I don't know how long we want this to be because people don't really, you know, want to stick in uh, on a video for I mean, half an hour. I mean, for the audience, I would like to say, guys, uh, put your comments below. I mean, I think our first episode will be close to 35, 40 minutes, maybe. 30 to 40 minutes. I don't know. I mean, um, 
I, I really appreciate uh, people who are watching this. Um, thank you for taking your time out. And please write us. Please put a comment on what next you expect or what next or what's your um, podcast like or what kind of podcast you want us to create. And then, you know, we, we'll give our best. Cheers. All right, so see ya. Cheers. And yeah. Bye-bye. Bas, Abhiruk. Okay, then I'm